This is Drom Shekasuto. Hey guys, Shalom Alechem. This is the day of uh, Lag Baomer. Very happy to have this uh, quiet and simple opportunity to to share a few of my thoughts and uh, certain things that are uh, coming to my mind. I think it's um, it's the most appropriate thing in the world that we're going to continue to to talk about the truth. That we will continue to to be serious about understanding what really the Creator wants from us and what really is needed and, and important to our souls because there are many contradictions like so many like number of options and ways and methods and ideas and 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 and, and opinions and 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 ways to 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 be guided and to follow certain like teachers rabbis leaders communities organizations whatever like and everyone are trying like to do the best in so many ways and in the end of the day finding ourselves so like lost and confused and abused and and isolated and and hurt and in so many ways and and it's kind of um it's kind of traumatic it's it's bringing us to to places that that will lose our happiness and and it might even like shake the stability of our simple innocent faith that we that we have in in the creator so like i wanted to the real place that i'm coming from is like really i want to i want to talk I want to talk about certain like things like in the world how like it's so horrible like I wanted I wanted to talk about how horrible it is that that you have people in 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 the world that are like able to 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 cause so much damage and 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 to use the power that they have and 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 the energy um, that they're pulling from their students or followers and 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 like taking advantage of those poor souls like us and and just like like abusing us like trying to force us into their will like for an example like i was learning in a certain uh, in a certain place and there was a rabbi over there and and there was one of the students in in his place that in in his institute that every morning like he would he would go and buy fresh fruits for him and he would he was like peeling the fruits and cutting them and 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 bringing it on night nice plates and and he was like basically like every day he was feeding him like and that that guy was not rich like it's not like oh wow like he couldn't care less like that person would would take the last money that he has in his pockets to go and to buy those the best fruits like things that he wouldn't even buy for himself like for his house and every day every day would bring those fruits to to his rabbi and and that guy told me once after a long time of every day to bring the fruits he said like no matter what I do, no matter which best fruits I bring, mango, whatever, like buying expensive things and like the best quality. And he said he wasn't, he's never happy. Like he's, he's never happy. He never said thanks. He's never smiling. Like always just like, you can put it here, you can put it here, like whatever, like commanding and, and, and telling him like playing with him. And he said one day, I came to him and asked him like why 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 you're not never satisfied like why always you like you give me bad comments like the fruits was not sweet enough I don't like it like this I don't like it like 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 why can't you just be grateful and and say thank you so that rabbi told him it's good for you like the it it's better for you like that like for you <laughs> the, for you it's better that like that I'm not gonna th say thank you like 
who put you in this position that you allow even to think for yourself that you're able like to allow yourself to say to someone something like that like and when you hear those stories like today I, I spoke my wife and I we went somewhere and, and we spoke to a certain friend of ours a woman and she said that she she met um, in a in a certain family event they met a certain rabbi and and that rabbi start telling her like you need to do this you need to do that and like it's it's a family event like she she start saying like no I can't do it I can't do it like whatever like she was obligated to certain things and like and suddenly that rabbi told her like I'm if you're not gonna do what I told you I'm gonna take the microphone and I'm gonna start speaking over like he was threatening her that he will like ruin her event like if she if she's not gonna do what what he told her to do so I'm talking from my background, like I'm saying Rebbe and Rebbe and Rebbe and Rebbe, but in Christianity it's the same reality, in Islam it's the same reality, in like all around the world it's the same reality, that you have so many sick people uh, that, that are allowing themselves to, to be, to use and, and to take advantage of, of innocent people, and to sit on their backs and to like like leeches like like a leech to to suck the blood out of their of of the flock of innocent people this is very painful this is very very painful this is a topic that hurts that that and and you know yesterday night i i had the thought about it i spoke with we had uh, we had some nice friends that came over yesterday night for for dinner and and like uh, sudat mitzvah for the lag baomer for the hilula the your side uh, of rabbi shimon bar yochai all this wonderful party that we that we celebrate every every lag baomer and and I said to to our friends something that like many times when I'm talking, so like the wisdom that the Creator puts in my mind is is being revealed while I'm speaking. Like like that I said many times that I'm not preparing my lectures. I'm not like preparing my my talks, my conversations. I'm I'm just opening my heart and I'm, I'm channeling the, the inner feelings and thoughts that are coming and 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 it's a it's a it's a spring it's a it's an inner spring and everyone has it it's I'm, I'm not unique in that that's exactly why I'm able to guide you guys and to tell you to do the same because I know that every person when he allows himself to to reveal the qualities that are treasured inside of him so the light of his soul will shine and and not the darkness of of his fears because like he will be brave he will be strong he will he will let himself be who he is and and who he is 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 a is a, a godly is a godly soul so like what can go wrong like if really your soul will shine out from your mind from your mouth from your heart no harm will take place no no bad thing will will happen so so i like while i was talking to those wonderful people that came to our house yesterday night so i said that every person in in like in our generation that will look to the sides with all facebook um huge companies and and operations like Amazon YouTube Google like all those uh, like gigantic operations that are like controlling the minds of people and the governments and like all those um, conspiracy theories and all those huge horrible things that are taking place in the world and and you see huge 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 uh, 
corporations and like wealthy people like billionaires that are like controlling the industries and food and 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 pharmacies and 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 medicines like all those crazy things if if you look to the sides like to the right to the left like where is Hashem like every normal person will ask himself where is God like what why am I a believer like if I check and look what's going on like people are being destroyed people are being humiliated people are are being abused like people are being raped and cheated and lied to and 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 and, and like where where is the justice like where is where is the holiness where is the truth where is the where is the order where is the trial like you like suddenly a father dies in the middle of the li in the of of the life of of his family suddenly a mother to eight children uh, got cancer like what what you do with this kind of world like every normal person that like a thinker um, that is trying like to 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 really focus in reality and to be productive and useful with his thoughts he gonna lose faith like simply you look to the sides like okay like me I'm praying and I'm already 40 and I'm not married so like okay give up like are you crazy to keep on like uh, praying like every normal person would lose faith right like people are dying and people are are, are are losing their minds and people are suffering from anxieties like I have a friend that went to a doctor and his doctor told him that he's experiencing a panic attack every between 7 to 11 minutes like every between 7 to 11 minutes he's getting attacked from crazy fears and anxieties like poor person like he is suffering okay like and and why why did it happen why did it happen there are reasons for that it's not oh you're so low oh you're a sinner you were masturbating you were doing this you were violating shabbat you're not eating kosher do you know how many people that are eating kosher and not masturbating are suffering crazy suffering do you know like how many people are are suffering from anxieties and they are amazing people can you say that all the people that uh, that that had cancer until today like it's because of their sins and what with all the sinners that are are getting to 70 and to 80 and 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 like they're like filthy people so it, it's very hard to recognize the creator in our days in in our reality right it's like it's simple thing it's not and also it's not when when your intention is to look for God when your intention is to look for the truth so you're not saying anything bad by saying like I find it hard to believe or I suffer from lack of confidence like if that is the truth so the truth must be said and like all right it's hard we want to believe but we are finding it very hard like if I me myself took all my family and we like literally sacrificed our lives and gave our lives and all our power and money and effort and hours days and nights and months and years of our lives and dedicated it for for the sake of of a certain idea that been told to us by a certain rabbi and we followed him in fire and in water and after a certain amount of years we've been betrayed by him so it 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 shakes your your faith in 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 people like it's it's shaking the stability of of your hope that w people are good that people are normal and especially when those people are representing ideas and or religions or concepts that you feel related to so like when you want to break out so the thoughts that you have in your mind is maybe I should break out from that religion, from that community, whatever, but like you don't really need to lose yourself, your true identity, your happiness, your connection to God because of some filthy people, right? Like you should recognize your enemy, you should recognize who is really uh, is a bad and mean and evil person and uh, 
and and you should stay away from him or even fight him or whatever do whatever it takes for you to 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 feel that you did the right thing because sometimes sometimes you need to to protect others sometimes you need to go on a war and it's going to be a war of mitzvah and sometimes you know i said it many times king david or moses moshe rabenu their enemies were not only from different nations oh no moses he was fighting the amalekites all right uh, king david he was fighting plishtim no not only not only they had many enemies from within like Korach and all his group like 240 or 260 huge rabbis that were the main judges of Jewish courts like Israeli courts like they were the chief judges of our nation and they were Moses worst enemies of them all Doeg v'achitofel they were King David's worst enemies like they were the biggest most genius powerful strongest rabbis of that generation like they were the wisest and they were corrupted sometimes your enemies are from within sometimes your enemies might be your siblings your brothers like and and they're not brothers in spirit like they 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 might be brothers in blood but 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 they're standing in the dark side like they sold their soul to the devil they gave themselves to their lusts for their desires and and they are corrupted they sold their souls to the devil and then they became your enemy so i said to this wonderful couple that came to our house yesterday night sorry for it's taking me sometimes uh, too long too much time to express all my thoughts um, but that's what friends are for, right? Like, I need to feel comfortable to share my thoughts with you. And, like, always you can skip. If you're not watching live, so you can skip if, I'm, uh, if, I'm, if it takes too much time. So I said to them, every logic person, every logical person, every normal person will find it very hard to find the Creator in our dark hours, in our di dark generation. But we even though that against all odds even though that all around us like you can't find anything except of, of darkness we have some kind of stupid innocent that was my exact words stupid innocent way of looking at life like we're stupidly innocent and we believe we still believe like even though that you cannot see anything and even though that you see like corruptions and evilty and darkness and, and dark forces all over you and trying to, to take whatever is yours and to possess your soul to channel all your energy to their bank accounts like like everyone like uh, trying to do everything that they can to take ad advantage and full 100 percent control on you and on like you, you you like you have departments that are already planning on how to take over your grandchildren like like you have systems that are thinking on how to 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 to, to grab the souls, the minds, the thoughts of, of, of the children that will come out to the world in, in 2030. It's like, it's crazy. So, <laughs> like, in reality, it's very hard to recognize the Creator in our days. But we are, like I said, stupidly innocent. And we still believe, like, we do believe like i believe my wife she believes like we believe we don't have a doubt that there is a creator with all the darkness and we all with all the chaos that that goes on wildly in the streets like rolling stones from from the sky and and and, and you lose your direction and you can't find your yourself and and we still believe so to think about this amazing group of believers right now that it's us it's you all you plural you and me us to think about how innocent we are how sweet we are how amazing we are that in such a corrupt world 
in such a world that is showing only darkness, only calamity, only mess, only, only like, like confusions with no end, darkness with no end, we still believe in Hashem. We still believe in the Creator. We still follow Him. We still pray to Him. Like, even that you pray and you're not being answered. Like, how stupid a person can be? Like, hey brother, I'm calling you and you're not answering. All right, like, I'll try again. Okay, hey brother, I'm I, like, it's the second time calling you and you're not answering. All right, like, next day. All right, hey. well, he's not answering. Third time, fourth time, fifth time, like, hey, stupid, wake up. Like, how many times are you going to call him? He's not answering you. One year, two years, 20 years, 40 years. We are innocently, no, not innocently stupid, we're stupidly innocent. Maybe we're also, <laughs> we're, we're both. We're also innocent and we're also stupid. But we are basically just naive and very simple. And you know, for a real redemption to come, for the Creator really to reveal Himself to to a group of people that that will be worthy for that. So, like, think about who will be those ones that the Creator will will redeem, that the Creator will show Himself to upon. Who those will be? Those ones that saw Him always and recognized Him and been blessed by His blessings, or those ones that followed Him in darkness? It's sure that those ones that followed him in darkness, and there is a saying in the in the in the in the Mishnah, in, in, in the Mishnah that is saying that before Mashiach will come, Ha'emet tiye the 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 truth will be hidden. The truth will be hidden before Mashiach will come. The truth will be hidden. What does it mean that the truth will be hidden? that everyone will be liars, like that you won't be able to find the truth. You're going to try to ask questions and you won't find the answers, okay? Now, there was a very great righteous man, his name was the Maharsha Kadosh, the Holy Maharsha, and he wrote a certain explanation on that, on those words, that the truth will be hidden, and he said that, that the, the people of truth, the truthful people, will had will have to run and hide in the deserts. Like, the liars will be so strong and, and so abusive and, and, and so demanding that people of truth won't be able to stand close to them. Like, they won't. They will have to hide themselves in the deserts. And this is why we are isolated today. This is why like we are in the four corners of, of the universe. This is why we are so separated in our bodies. This is why we're going through so much. It started to rain here in the village of Spring Valley. So I'll better find my uh, way back into the house. And um, the only thing that is important is that we will not back off from understanding that we are the precious ones, that we are those amazing ones, that we are those true believers that are following Hashem against all odds, even in the hardest hours, in the hours that are like so dark and so so miserable that we're experiencing so much pain, but we're not backing off and we're not giving up. Thank you for being here and supporting us and helping in so many ways. May the Creator bless us all as one, that all our prayers will be answered and we will see the complete redemption and salvation and miracles and wonders in our lives in no time. Amen. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.